News 4 at 11 starts now. It is a problem getting more and more attention. Alcoholism among women. And one local mother's death inspired an area filmmaker to expose what she calls a secret in the suburbs. Erica Gonzalez shows us the newly released documentary that is made to save lives. A snowstorm, December 2009. 39-year-old Julie Kroll drunk and driving with her daughter in the back seat. A minor collision with a tree sends her eight-year-old running for help. Kroll gets out too, but instead falls into a ravine. She was walking and falling, walking and falling. She had on black pants, a white t-shirt and a red vest, and she left her little kid. All the while, local director Lori Butterfield is watching Kroll's story play out on News 4 and in the papers, including the day Kroll's body is discovered under packs of snow, nearly two weeks after she had first disappeared. Butterfield demands a call to action, attention to alcoholism in women in a way she can shine a light. I'm, I'm hoping that this documentary can really bring out a message and confront this stigma that keeps so many women drinking in secret. Lipstick and Liquor, Secrets in the Suburbs is a 78-minute film that seeks to inspire dialogue on women and alcoholism. Jerry Hawley is Julie's widow. Yeah. Julie was the love of my life. He tells me his wife was a recovering alcoholic and relapsed after losing her job. I didn't like it. Um, I wasn't supportive of it, but I understood it. Psychotherapist Dr. Anita Gadia Smith says alcoholism among suburban women, who she refers to as kitchen drinkers, is on the rise. Because women have more access uh, to money, they have more freedom, and they have more stresses. And so now women kind of have to be all things to all people. Holly says his wife wasn't a bad mother, but had a serious disease. People have asked me all the time, so well, why didn't you leave her? And, you know, I took the part of my vows in sickness and in health. I took that very seriously. Butterfield hopes the response to the film will serve as a tool to educate. And we're hearing from people to tell us things like, I really want a copy of this so I can share it with my family so they can see what it's like. Dr. Gadia Smith says the D.C. metro area is rich in alcoholism recovery efforts with more than 2,000 meetings weekly. To learn more about the documentary and get answers to questions on alcoholism, you can visit NBCWashington.com.